I'll show you some ways that you can kind of work your way into knowing more how to decipher a lot of it. Some of it, you're just simply not going to know unless you have the context. There are certain times when there's a word and then there's phrasing. So if, for example, if I'm saying um, as a word, the word for there um, in Gullah would be de, D-E-H, okay? Um, but sometimes our Ds roll into a soft N. Now, the de comes from the TH. The TH is either going to sound like a D or an N. And sometimes it's a sharp T because the th turns into t. So if, uh, say for example, the word for thank you is tanky. So th becomes t. Now, there becomes de. So if I'm saying as the word de, sometimes loses the D and becomes an N and sometimes loses both the N and the D. So if I say, da boy de, da boy de, there. But if I say, um, dem ne, it's still dem de. If I said, das dem ne, turns into an N. But if I say, change that to that girl there, it would sound more like da gyal where the, the D and, and both the N just go in different ways. So then in yourself, you're asking, since the language is not originally written, it was something that was originally spoken because the people who spoke it were not allowed to be literate in writing. Remember, this is from uh, uh, enslaved people who um, were not allowed to be literate in the English language, although they were already um, literate in their own original languages, um, it's important to know that the reason that they were not allowed to be literate in those languages is because language is key to freedom. You can know road signs, you can write letters, there's so much that you can do once you're literate in a language to free yourself. So to avoid that, they were just simply not allowed to be literate in that language. And therefore, we've been essentially playing the telephone game for generations, where we say one thing, pass it on to another and on to another and on to another. So it's really a miracle that this language still exists and intact um, with so little literary foundation to establish um, itself um, and, and keep itself intact. So that would be an example, the de, ne, e, uh, would be an example of phrasing. Um, because that wouldn't necessarily be like you're creating three new words, it's just the way that you phrase it. But then there are some times when the way that you phrase it does create a new word.